right, here we are. Uh-oh. We're back here at our bushcraft survival shelter. We got a little problem. One of our trees fell over. See how we have this tree here supporting our cross members? This one fell over. Well, looks like we better get started. We got a lot of work to do. Jacob, you getting cold? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll get a fire going. With snow like this, you gotta be really careful where you put your tools down. They'll disappear and get buried like that. Stuff gets lost really easy when it's snowing like this and you won't find it till springtime. Gotta make sure you always put it somewhere not in the snow. Hey Jake, you like that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
Let me see your boot. Oh, all right. Okay, get down in there. Oh, get... All right. Well, guys, I've been rushing like a madman to get to this point, but we got a shelter up so we can keep the snow off all of our gear, which is great because it was getting us wet. And I uh, got the cot up. It got a little bit higher this time. So I got room to put the sled down on here with their gear. And I got a little bed area that I'm gonna make for Jacob. But we need to block the wind and I need to put something over here and over here and maybe over here to make this a little bit more windproof. A lot of wood cut, but it's all wet, covered in ice. We gotta prop it all up by the fire. They're so wet. Hey Jake, how you doing? Are you warm? Oh, you're super warm. Time to transfer the Jake. Oh, there you go. You like that? Is that is that less smoky, Jacob? Yeah, that's Good. less smoky. You feeling you feeling warm down there? Mm-hmm. Good. Well, it's getting late. I think the sun's gonna set here in a little bit, so I think I better get some dinner made. I got a little boy who's pretty hungry. the phone. Sit down on my lap. Oh, look at that meatball. Oh, I want some sauce on. Is that good? It, it's spaghetti and meatballs with a helmet. Oh, yes, you had a good time. Woo, it's good stuff.
You know, it seems like every time we go winter camping, I burn up at least one item. I'm up to two so far this trip. I stuck my water bottle by the fire to keep it from freezing, and uh, apparently I stick it too close by the fire. Yeah, it's got a goiter now. And check out Jacob's boot. It was sitting here by the fire, and not only did it melt the tread, but it caught on fire. It was, yeah, it was bad. Oh. I can tell this is going to be an expensive trip. <laughs> Got some very frozen marshmallows here. A warm cup of hot chocolate with a marshmallow tastes pretty good on a night like tonight. Got some hot chocolate ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you okay? Bolted out hot chocolate. <laughs> well, you know, we've actually done better with time management on this trip than we have on others. You know, we've got dinner done at a reasonable time and we've got a bit of time to kill. Do you want to watch a movie together? Mm -hmm. We're kicking it with old school Transformers. And our guns coming out of me. We had a great time watching shows together, but Jake is out like a light, which is good. It's it's past his bedtime, but I got a few hours before I'm going to go to bed, uh, so I'm just going to slowly get things ready, and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about the shelter here. Here's a real popular trick. You take some boiling water and you put it in one of these hard plastic thermoses and then you stick it in your sleeping bag and it warms your sleeping bag up really nicely. The one thing I really don't like about this trick though is that if that bottle leaks, oh man, you are in deep trouble. So you really, really want to make sure that the lid's on properly and that you got zero leakage. It'll be nice and toasty when you're ready to get inside. All right, let's go and measure how efficient our shelter is today. So it looks like we're about 16 degrees out here in the shelter, so really similar temp to what we had last time. So it's supposed to get down to six degrees tonight. You can see we've got about 38 degrees Fahrenheit here in the shelter. Definitely cooler than my last shelter, but better than being outside. All right, down here on Jacob's bed, we've got about 24 degrees Fahrenheit here, so significantly colder here on the bottom. Luckily, he's got caribou hides, hand warmers, and a negative 25 bag. Yep. Well, despite all the improvements I made to this shelter, I don't think it's a better shelter. It's colder, noticeably colder in here, and that's because it's more spacious. I accidentally set the tripod up about a foot and a half further back than where it was last time. And so I've got a lot more volume in here, and the fire just doesn't do as good of a job heating it up. But the good part is that the, the bed's higher so that Jacob's got room to sleep out of the snow and that's a huge deal. But also it means the bed's higher so you can't sit on the bed and use it like a bench in front of the fire when you're not sleeping, which is also another downside. So that's why we're kneeling on the ground over here, which is hard on my old back. These are the little details I'm constantly working on when I build these shelters. There's so many little finicky details that you need to watch out for. my socks up to dry before I go to bed. Warm dry socks, that feels good. Good morning, it's 7 a.m. and I'm deep inside my sleeping bag. <sighs> I need to get out and build a fire. <sighs> I guess it's time to get some breakfast going, but a lot of my ingredients are frozen, so we gotta thaw that out. We just put this frozen block of cream 
here in this hot water bath, sit it by the fire. It'll be thawed out in about five minutes. All right. Nice and liquid. Hey bud. Hey dad. Would you like some bacon? No. You want some oatmeal? Oatmeal, sure. Okay. You want me to set it right there? Yes, I set it right there. Well, it was definitely a little nippy last night, but uh, we did okay. The shelter definitely got the job done. Now we got some food in our stomachs, and uh, I think we're going to go and get everything slowly packed up. But Jake really, really wants to go hunting and shoot the 22 rifle a little bit. Well, she's been a good shelter for us, just a little bit big. But next couple snowfalls, we'll fill in those gaps in the wall. And uh, it'll be a lot more airtight next time. Hey, Jake, you want to shoot the 22? You want to shoot the gun? No. Okay, see that little stump? Oh, there's more blood. You see? See that? Put the holes right there. All right, when we walk back to the car, we're going to look for some snowshoe hare. They're a rabbit that changes color. They turn white in the wintertime, and they have little black noses, little black eyes, and the rest of them's all white. So they're really camouflaged. I want to hunt in my sweats. All right, here we go. We just gotta go really slow through the woods and take our time. The old rule of thumb is that if you're walking fast enough to stay warm, you're going too fast. You gotta go real slow and look under every tree. I actually seen some tracks. Some are covered up with a little bit of snow and others are looking fresh. You can see right there, there's a fresh track right there. That's the hind feet. Those are the front feet. He's heading this way. And you can see there's fresh tracks on top of old tracks. So this is a spot he goes quite frequently. Might not be a bad place to put a snare. You wanna go back to the car? All right, guys, I think it's time to call it. This is a very short-lived rabbit hunting trip, but sometimes those are the funnest ones. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed filming it. If you want to see more camping and adventure videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, check out our camping and adventure playlist with over 60 videos of our camping adventures around the world. I'll put a link in the video description below. And don't forget to... Get some subscribe! If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching. You have fun, bud? Uh-huh. Good.